Hello everybody, Jim Ballard here. This video is all about removing this nub that was left when I removed it from the lathe with the Japanese saw. It was being held by a tenon and a large chuck. You'll have to check out that other video. I'll put a link in the description below. So we're going to get started on this right here and I'm going to start right here with a small Harbor Freight. It's been a good one. Let me show you the little disc. Got the disc and Velcro. So what I do, I just cut it. I just cut them from these larger pads. Let's get started. If you're wondering what I'm starting with, I'm using a 60 grit. Pretty aggressive, but it really gets after it. I'm still working on the concave where it only will sit on this outer rim. Right here I've got just a little bit of a rise in this area and I'll show you how we look at that and make sure we're in good shape. But I can physically see it. There's, a, there's just a small rise in the middle. So let's keep on. And what you can do is you can take a straight edge and lay it across and you'll be able to see light that's coming out from under it. I think I need to take a little bit more in the center. There we are. You can see the concave back and I haven't touched the outer rim. I'll do that on the final sanding because it's in pretty good shape. We've got the nub in shape and I'm going to move up to some 80. So I've switched to this uh, five inch orbital, stepped it up to a hundred. Now I can start working the whole surface. The advantage to this, I have a very soft pad in between the sandpaper and the hard surface of the sander. Helps to conform, it's not as aggressive, wants to lay down the shape that you've established and just smooth it or continue to shape it to uh, step it up in your sandpapers. But, uh, there's a rat. I can see the scratches from the hundred, but I'm not having to back back up. Just a little touch. I'm going to this 150. I'm going to get away from those orbital lines and I'm going to start sanding it with the grain and I'll finish with a 220. Here we go. I don't sand it just with the grain, but if the grain curves, sand it around these curves. Don't, don't cut across because it just leaves scratches. I'm also trying to be very careful not to get outside and scratch the finish that I've already previously put on. 
Now, 220. All nicely sanded. Since this is not a video about the actual finish, this is to get it ready for the finish. I'll go ahead and show you what I do to get the, the initial coat on. And I'll do that right now. I'm going to use the same deft lacquer, except in this case, I'm going to brush it on. That's the first coat of a few coats because I want to catch it up to the remainder of the bowl. Once I catch it up to the remainder of the bowl, then I can treat the bowl as a whole. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Jim Ballard. See ya. And this thing is turning out real nice. There we are.